Blessings, everyone. Happy Friday. So I thank God that uh, we've been able to see another Friday. Actually, the month is almost over. I cannot believe it. I also can't believe it's already Friday. <laughs> I don't know why. I got my days all mixed up. So I thank God that I am here. I'm so glad that I'm able to come and give you your Friday encouragement. We'll say a quick prayer and then we'll get started. Father God, I thank you so much just for who you are, all that you are, Father God. You are an amazing, wonderful Father, and I love you, and we bless you, and we honor you. I thank you for those who would watch this video, and I thank you, Lord God, that they will be encouraged as they just hear more about you and are able to reflect on how you've blessed them in their lives. So I pray, Father God, that you would get the glory out of this video, all of you, zero of me. And I do this in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. So again, happy Friday. I'm glad to be here. Uh, my name is Misha. And today we're going to talk about God as our helper, which is great because um, that's encouraging. That's really uh, encouraging to be able to know that you can go to him and he will help you. So I would like to present to you God as our helper. And um, he is the best and the only helper that you need in your life because he'll help you get through anything and everything in your life. You know, he is... Um, not a absentee father where you you won't be able to call on him you know he's there for you to help you in every area of your life actually what i love is that not only is he there to help you through everything but psalms 91 mentions that he gives his angels charge over you so you have additional help you know, so he leaves his angels with you to assist you with anything that um, you need. Yeah, one day I'll give you guys my, my, my angel story. I have a couple of them, actually. Um, but yeah, just to know that he really cares about you. He cares about everything that um, pertains to you, your feelings, your needs, you know, your situations and circumstances. You can definitely call on him and cry out to him for anything that you need. And um, he would definitely be there to help you. Me personally, I have a lot of experience of him as my helper. And um, when man has failed me, God has never failed me. We're friends. Things will fail you, God. Never, ever, ever fails me. And I'm definitely grateful for that. Um, there are a lot of scriptures that talks about, you know, how God is your helper. I have a couple of them here. Actually, there's one, which is one of my favorites that I'm going to share. I'm going to read it in two versions because one version is really good. But the other version is really, really good. But... I would just encourage you this um this weekend, you know, if you have a little spare time, you should always make time to read the word anyway, to search out a few scriptures that are different from the ones that I'm including in the description box that can help you recall and meditate on the times that God has helped you, things that he has helped you with. Um, situations that he's helped you overcome and get through, you know, crisis situations, um, the situations where you can say, if it had not been for God on my side, oh, where would I be? I would sing that, but y'all don't want to hear me sing. <laughs> but um, just to, to reflect, you know, use this weekend, if possible, to reflect on the goodness of God and remember the things that he has done and in that remembrance that's going to help you build up your confidence to always be able to go back to him and remind him you know you helped me with this so i'm gonna ask you about this so i'm gonna come to you for that and just know that he is such a good good father and he loves you and he wants to help you okay so the psalm that i absolutely love 
And I, I memorized it as a young person in the King James Version, but the Passion Translation is amazing. So I'm going to share that one with you as well. Okay, so Psalms 121 in King James Version says, I will lift up mine eyes to the hills from whence cometh my help. My help comes from the Lord, which made heaven and earth. He will not suffer thy foot to be moved. He that keepeth thee will not slumber. Behold, he that keepeth Israel shall neither slumber nor sleep. The Lord is thy keeper. The Lord is thy shade upon thy right hand. The sun shall not smite thee by day, nor the moon by night. The Lord shall preserve thee from all evil. He shall preserve thy soul. The Lord shall preserve thy going out and thy coming in from this time forth and even forevermore. So this tells you that he will help you with everything and anything. So if you weren't sure, because you know, with the old English now, the Passion Translation really made it so beautiful. And they titled it, God Protects Us, A Song of the Stairway. And it says, I look up to the mountains and hills, longing for God's help. But then I realize that our true help and protection is only from the Lord, our creator who made the heavens and the earth. He will guard and guide me, never letting me stumble or fall. God is my keeper. He will never forget or ignore me. He will never slumber nor sleep. He is the guardian God for his people, Israel. Yahweh himself will watch over you. He, he's always at your side to shelter you safely in his presence. He's protecting you from all danger, both day and night. He will keep you from every form of evil or, or calamity as, his continu as he continuously watches over you. You will be guarded by God himself. You will be safe when you leave your home and safely you will return. He will protect you and he will protect you forevermore. Amen. So that just says it right there. Anything that you stand in need of, he's not a God who will slumber or sleep. Not like me. Okay. Sit around two minutes. Before you know it, I'm knocked out. <laughs> Not our God. Our God is available. He's awake. He's alert. And he is there for you. I have three other um, scriptures. God is our refuge and strength of very present help in trouble. Psalms 54, 4 says, Behold, God is mine helper. The Lord is with them that uphold my soul. And Hebrews 13, 6, so that we may boldly say, the Lord is my helper. I will not fear what man shall do unto me. So you see that one there, it just builds up your confidence. You know, you don't have to worry about what man is going to say or what man is going to do. You don't have to worry about if someone is going to turn their back on you. It doesn't matter because God is your help and he's one who's going to be there for you in any and every situation. So this is going to be brief. I just wanted to really introduce to you God is your helper a very very present help in time of trouble and uh, know that you can trust him believe that he will help you in any and all circumstances and um, just love on him because he's your dad and he wants the very best for you and lastly if you have not yet made Jesus your Lord and Savior today is the best day to do it yesterday is gone tomorrow's not promised to anyone and you really want to make sure that your salvation is secure you know you want to be able to know where you're going in the event you do pass on and uh, heaven is real and hell is real so you really really want to make sure that you secure your salvation. It's very simple. 
you know, Jesus already paid the price. All he wants you to do is say yes and, and, and invite him into your heart. So all you got to do is say, Jesus, Lord Jesus, I know that you are the son of God and that you died for me and that you rose for me. Please forgive me of my sin. Come into my life and be my Lord and Savior and fill me with your Holy Spirit. That's it. If you say that short little prayer, God knows your heart. And all you got to do now is just get you a Bible, go to church, read your Bible, and just really let the Lord reinvent your life. That's the best decision that I made. I don't have a dull day ever. And um, it's, a, it's an amazing adventure. Not easy, not perfect, but... Um, He's perfect, and he will just carry you through every step of the way. So um, welcome to the family. And, um, of course, I'll include my email if you want to contact me. If you need me to give you a Bible, I can send you a Bible. That's no problem. So, okay, I think that's it. Um, I'll just say a quick prayer. And I wanted to thank my subscribers. I want to thank my subscribers. I thank you for liking the video. I thank you for subscribing. And I thank you for sharing it. You know, it's Friday encouragement. Who doesn't want to be encouraged? Everybody wants to be encouraged, especially with this day that we're living in. So please feel free to share this with all your friends. And um, maybe the ones who are not your friends who need some encouragement. <laughs> Okay, so, <laughs> so Father, I just thank you so much for even this opportunity to be able to come and uh, share your love and your goodness and your kindness, Father, to my brothers and sisters. And I pray, Father God, that it becomes real for them and that they can too say that if it had not been for God on my side, oh, what would I do? So I thank you, Lord, that you are ever present help in time of trouble. I thank you that you're an amazing and a wonderful father. I bless you. I honor you. I pray that each and every one of my brothers and sisters have an amazing weekend and that you would keep them safe from all hurt, harm, and danger. I pray this in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Okay, have a, a good weekend, and I'll see you next Friday. Bye-bye.